Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the wall command in 3ds Max. Uh, this is not a very uh, different or very interesting tool, but uh, it uh, is a tool that will add some speed to our process as we build walls in 3ds Max. Uh, I want to bring uh, out a simple floor plan for this tutorial because the Command itself is a little bit easy and just straightforward tool to use. Let me show that first and then we are going to use this in a real example and I'm, I want to show you how this can add speed to our uh, process, our workflow. Now, the command is under create geometry, uh, AEC extended. Under here, we have a command called wall. And now you can see that if you input the width and the height values, then you can just click and dra draw some walls to the viewport and you can say it fixes the corners it's not really an ideal topology in my opinion but whatever it keeps our, uh, our quads so that's uh, what's important i guess uh, but the interesting thing is we don't need to create a spline and add an extrude on top of this uh, or create a spline add an outline and then add an extrude on top of that it just combines all the tools in just one click and you can use the wall to wall command like this. So whatever, let's try to use this in a real example and see how that works. Now, as we create floor plans, you know, we had some tools or ways or workflows to create stuff with dimensions in 3ds Max. So I want to show you a new way how we can create uh, stuff with dimensions. Now, uh, as you can see, this is a very simple floor plan. Let's try just to create the exterior walls, uh, maybe we will add the, the interior walls as well, but you will see the point when I uh, create the exterior walls as well. Uh, now I want to separate this to two rectangles and this is the first one here. Uh, I want to create a four by, uh, actually let's say the f length first, the X axis first. Uh, we want to create a six by four wall or a rectangle. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go create sh uh, shapes, splines, rectangle and I just going to draw one and then I'm going to input some uh, values in here uh, let's input 600 and 400 okay and I want to move this to the origin then I'm going to hit T to go to the top view okay let's change these swap these so we won't uh, have any confusions later on I I've changed these to 400 by 600 okay then I'm going to add the second rectangle which is uh, 400 by 600, yeah, <laughs> sorry, 600 was this one, 700, right, yeah, uh, let's create another rectangle, uh, it's a little bit hard to do math while just <laughs> talking, I guess, uh, and let's just keep this 400 by eight, uh, 700, sorry, uh, I'm going to hit S and move this here, so that these two will snap to each other. I know these dimensions aren't exact, but you get my point. You can add the wall thickness later on. It doesn't really matter for now. Uh, and this is not an exact technical drawing as well. It's a little bit rounded, I guess, because here we have the inner wall value. Here we have the outer wall value. So uh, maybe you can add and subtract to these values, but whatever, it's not my point. Uh, I want to show you a real fast way uh, which you can build your walls. With dimensions. Uh, by the way, I want to make a. I want to be sure that I'm inputting right values. Uh, I'm going to add 350, 250, and 220. That's 800. So this is. Let's change this to 800. Okay. Okay. Now let's. Go ahead and choose the wall command. Now I'm going to hit S to use the snaps and I can just start from here, go here, 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 here. And I guess you get my point. You can as, uh, well the uh, closing points as well as you can see. And this is just a very, a very easy way to create walls right away. I know that you are thinking right now that this is a very simple uh, floor plan so we can just create these uh, with rectangles easily i know that you think like that but if you really examine uh, some more complex floor plans let's go ahead and do that okay 
you will be able to see that all of these floor plans kinda uh, is made up of rectangles, right? Uh, with some exceptions, I know. With some exceptions, I know, but most of these, like 99%, I guess, of these are made up of rectangles. We have some uh, angled lines in here, but you can again do the same thing. Build a rectangle around it and just chamfer the corners, for example. Or you can just draw these extra lines uh, later on. So this is a very useful type method or this is a very useful workflow uh, while you are trying to create floor plans or walls with dimensions. Okay, I recommend you to really think about this and uh, try to expand on it and I'm going to show you a few more examples in this floor plan I'm not going to go to a new floor plan but uh, let's try to create some of these inner walls for example and you will see that we can add to this method we can um, expand on this method uh, let's uh, start with this room for example we can create a 4 by 4 uh, rectangle And just move this to the corner in here. Uh, by the way, if you move it move it like this, you if you uh, rotate around the scene, you will see that this rectangle is on the top uh, of the wall in here. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to hit T and change this to 2.5 snap, uh, 2.5 snap, and then you can move that and it will stay on the floor. Okay, that's uh, this is for. <laughs> we we have talked about this, but maybe you missed it. And now I'm going to just create uh, walls again. Uh, this time I want to change the width to 12 centimeters, for example, because these are inner walls, we, they can be thinner. It's possible that, that they're thinner and you can just create a new wall around this. And this time maybe uh, we don't have the inner dimensions, maybe we have the outer dimensions. And there is a uh, tool in uh, wall command. You can play with justification box and you can change the side of the rectangle uh, or the wall, sorry. You can change this to be on the left side. You can change this to be on the center, the line we drew. Or you can just change this to be on the right. I'm going to change this to be on the left side because I want this to be aligned with this, okay? Maybe it's not like that, but whatever. I'm just uh, trying to create a way of thinking in here. And then, by the way, uh, maybe you are thinking right now that we have doors, we have windows. How uh, are, are we going to open those openings? Uh, we talked about this too. Uh, you can just create a box, as you know, if you want to use the Pro Boolean tool. Uh, you don't need to, and I don't recommend you to, but um, we, we are going to talk about that in Edit Poly. But let's use the Pro Boolean tool for now. I'm going to change the length to 90, change the width to 50, and change the height to 210. And I'm going to just hit S, move this to the corner, and then I'm going to move this in. Uh, sorry. Let's place this more carefully. I guess the uh, this happens because of this 2.5 snap. Let's change that to 3 again. Yeah. Now I want to move this in. And we don't have that dimension, but whatever. Let's call, uh, let's say we want to move this in 2 meters. And I want to just change this to the offset mode and just move this in in the y-axis minus 200. 200 is a little bit too much, I guess. Let's go to the top view. Minus 100. Yeah. Let's say we want to move this in 100 centimeters. And there you have it. Okay. Then you can just choose the wall. Go to create compound objects, pro boolean. And be sure that subtraction is selected and just click on start picking and just get rid of that wall shape in there. Uh, I guess we have some smoothing problems. So let's add a smooth modifier on top. As you can see, we are good with this. Uh, again, I don't recommend you to use ProBoolean because you will encounter those smoothing problems a lot later on. Uh, but we will see how we can create that wall without uh, creating those weird artifacts uh, in Edit Poly. So just be patient, <laughs> please. Okay, I guess you understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to cut this lesson in here. Hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please uh, ask them on the comments below. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope this was useful for you. 
If this was useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and see you in the next lesson.